What up, YouTube? Ray Ray here, Fabulous Bulldogs, checking in with you guys today. Hope everybody's having a great day. Hope everybody's being safe out there. Uh, I know I haven't been putting up a video in a while, you guys. I've just been recently busy over here at Fabulous Bulldogs, taking care of the family and everything. So today I decided to make a real quick video to give you guys an update, let you guys know what we got going on over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. One of my sister's dogs just came in heat. My sister, she has three English Bulldogs as well. And one of them just came in heat. So I took Chanel out there to her house yesterday and let her play with her and stuff. Because as you guys may know, if a dog is in heat and you bring a, your other female dog around, normally it can cause them to come in heat as well. So we took Chanel out there yesterday because she's been having irregular heat cycle. She's like nine months past her first heat. So we took her out there yesterday, you guys, to see if that might be able to trigger Chanel coming in the heat. Hopefully it worked. We will see, you guys. If not, my girl Bella right there, she should be coming in heat next week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep Chanel by Bella. And hopefully that Bella can help Chanel come in the heat because she has an irregular heat cycle. I don't know what's wrong with this girl. Her, she didn't come into her first heat until 11 months. And... I don't know, you guys. I'm just really, really excited for this breeding. Um, I try to just let it happen as it's supposed to, but I'm excited, you guys, because Chanel is a part of my vision. She's so little. She's so small and compact, and I just have big plans for this girl, but like I mentioned, you guys, she's not ready yet, so I'm trying to my best to figure out ways to bring her in the heat because she's way past her, 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 her date to come in. So hopefully by taking her out there to my sister's house yesterday, um, that will cause her to come in the heat. And if not, we got Bella coming in heat next um, next week. And Bella Mama, her heat cycles are regular. She comes in as clockwork. Every every cycle should come in as clockwork. But yeah, you guys, there to go right there. Troublemakers out playing and enjoying themselves, you guys. Like I said, excuse my grass. I live out here in Phoenix, Arizona. And it gets really hot and I got Bermuda grass, so my yard doesn't look the best. <laughs> Please excuse the yard. But yeah, you guys, we're just out here chilling, enjoying the day, letting them get out and get a little bit of energy out from being in the house. The summertime's coming up out here in Phoenix, so they're not going to get that much time being outside once the summer gets here because it's way too hot. So if you guys have English Bulldogs with the summer coming up, make sure you watch them closely. Um, I took when I like I mentioned I took Chanel out to my sister's house and it was kind of hot yesterday and she did not do well you guys she was overheating and things because Chanel she's really smashed up she doesn't have hardly no muzzle at all and the heat and stuff bothers her a lot so I had to use the lemon juice on her and cool her off and put her in the air conditioner in front of the fan so you guys got those bulldogs, summer's coming. You guys got bully breeds, Frenchies, whatever, summer's coming. Make sure you guys watch them in the heat. Um, you don't want your dog, anything to happen to your dog or anything during the summertime, cause it happens a lot, you guys. So just watch them closely. And I do got a video up. If your dog does catch heat stroke, go back to my previous videos, you guys. I have a remedy that will help save your dog's life. But look at my girl Starburst, you guys. She is getting fat <laughs> and this girl is so little so little and she's just getting chunkier little and chunkier you look at chanel chanel's two years old chanel's two years old and the same size as starburst and starburst is six months so just imagine how small she is you guys she's two years old and the same size as a puppy so you guys can see why i'm so excited for chanel to finally have some puppies you guys they're gonna be little compact short no muzzle look at chanel she hardly has no muzzle at all so the the weather and stuff when it's hot outside it really bothers her a lot because she hardly has no muzzle at all now now chanel look at her right there you guys and this is my girl starburst right here you guys i think she's going through her linky stage kind of but that's all right though like i mentioned you guys i know the blood that she carries and by a year old, wait till you guys see her. She is going to look amazing. She is going to look amazing. Direct off of Bompton Chrome. So she has Chrome Junior, Chrome Senior out of Hawaii, and Bompton Chrome all in her pedigree. So if you know anything about Bulldogs, she is a full Chrome blood. All around, top and bottom Chrome blood, you guys. 
So this girl right here is going to do amazing things for our program. I know I say that a lot, you guys, but you just, you gotta just wait and see. She's all these, both of these dogs, Chanel and Starburst, are a part of my vision, and we're gonna make that we're gonna make that come to life over here at Fabulous Bulldogs in the future. But one thing about breeding these dogs, you guys, it takes patience. If you don't have patience, this is not for you, you guys. It takes a lot of patience. Like I mentioned, Chanel, she's on her ninth month past her second past her first heat and you know i'm i'm getting impatient and stuff but that's not gonna make her come in the heat you guys i just gotta be patient you just gotta be patient with these dogs so if you don't have patience i don't feel like breeding dogs is the thing for you because it really tests it tests your patience and things of that nature and also you gotta you gotta basically you gotta have uh um you gotta have a tough tough skin tough skin when breeding these dogs anything can happen with them you lose a lot of money you lose a lot of time and it's basically a gamble you guys it's basically a gamble and just hoping for the best that everything works out good but yeah i just decided to make a video because i haven't put a video up for a while you guys and i know you guys are probably wondering why i haven't put a video up like i mentioned just been dealing with some things here at the home but I want to thank all you guys for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I really do appreciate you guys. It means a lot to us over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. A lot of people hit me up on Instagram. And I love Instagram because I can communicate with you guys and answer any questions that you may have and things. And I really do appreciate you guys. And I love helping people and giving them the information that I know. I don't know everything, you guys. I'm not a vet. I just learned everything by experience and trial and error. And that's the best that's the best teacher you guys experience and try error, error trial and error excuse me and you really can't go off of anybody else's experience you guys because everybody goes through things differently and what works for me might not work for you and your dog so you got to learn your dogs you got to learn your dogs and and how your dogs are and things about your dog you got to really take the time to get to know them because every dog is different just like every human being is different Look at Bella Mama right there, you guys. She is bouncing back. Amazing. She is going to come in heat within the next week, you guys, and I'm not breeding her again. I'm just going to leave her alone and let her enjoy her life. She has done amazing things for our program over here at Fabulous Bulldogs, so I think it's time to give her a break. But I do have my up-and-comers right here, and these girls can do this all day, all day. But it is a nice day here in Phoenix right now. It's a cool 50 degrees outside, 55, maybe 60. So it's not too hot this morning. So it's perfect to get them out and let them burn off all that energy that they have. But yeah, like I said, you guys, look at Chanel right there. Starburst is six months old and Chanel is two years old. And she's the same size as Starburst. Really many, really many. And she's a Merle, you guys. And she's a triple carrier. She carries everything. And she has chrome in her blood as well. So I'm just I'm just excited, you guys. I'm excited. But like I mentioned, Chanel, she's taking forever to come into her heat. So hopefully by taking her out to my sister's house yesterday and letting her around other dogs who are in their cycle, it will bring her in faster. So if you have a dog that's not coming into heat, um, basically what I've been doing with Chanel, you guys, is I've been giving her these pills. They're called bitch pills, and that's the name of them. <laughs> They're called bitch pills, and I've been giving them to her regularly uh, to try to bring her in as well. And if you have a dog that's having a problem coming into heat, you can also bring them around other dogs, like other males. Other males can bring them into heat as well. Or if you have a female that's in heat, bring them around. Bring your bring your dog around the other female, and that can also trigger them to come into heat. But we don't have any males over here at Fabulous Bulldogs, so males can really bring their female into heat. If you have another male, that will help the female come into heat. But we don't have any males over here, so that could be a reason why Chanel's having an irregular heat cycle. I don't know, you guys. I'm just fishing. But, <laughs> but if you have a dog that's having a problem coming into heat, take around other males or take around other females who are in heat, and hopefully that could trigger them to come into heat and things, you guys. But... Yeah, we're just chilling, relaxing, enjoying the day. Look at my girl, Starburst. <laughs> What's wrong, mama? You good? 
just chilling and enjoying the day with the girls man it's a beautiful beautiful morning but yeah i just wanted to make a real quick video for you guys to let you give you guys an update of what's going on over here and things at fabulous bulldogs once again i want to thank all you guys for subscribing to my channel go ahead and hit that like button hit the subscribe button Go ahead and watch my other videos as well, you guys. I got a lot of educational videos on this channel to help you on your journey. If you decide to breed dogs or if you just have an English Bulldog and situations occur, I have a lot of information on this channel to help you out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. God bless. Oh.